Hello guys, Brandon here. Today I'm going to be talking about fucking advertisements. But not advertisements as in like fucking normal car commercial advertisements type quality. I'm talking about shitty sponsorships on like Twitch channels and some YouTube channels, right? I, I'm more of a Twitch user myself, so I don't really know how it is on every other platform besides Twitch. I know a little bit of YouTube, but it's just, it's basically fucking knowing how to start a fire because you saw it on the fucking movies like that's basically my fucking level of expertise on youtube gaming and youtube live whatever the fuck it's called porn of live i'm quite a quite a connoisseur if i might say so myself but the problem is with advertisements right it's not the advertisement itself right and it's not the sponsorship that's the, i have a problem with it's how people go about promoting the company or sponsorship that they got, right? Because there's some that have like a little fucking small square, like about the size of like, the amount, like, the amount you can see my hand, right? Is the amount that the fucking ad is showing, right? It's just like on the small cube on the fucking top left of your fucking screen. And then it's just fucking like sliding cleanly, like the fucking advertising they have, right? But it's not taking up most of the fucking screen. It's not, no problem with it, right? Fucking, I don't care if you have a shitty. G Fuel sponsorship that basically every other streamer has, and it's just the same bullshit. It's just Kool Aid, but a fucking more cooler. You know, it's just the cooler version of fucking Kool Aid for all these edgy streamers. The problem I have is when they fucking. Because I went to a stream, right? I joined the stream, and like he had a. It was like what? Fucking YouTuber Twitch stream. And he had. A, he was on a big channel, right? So he has one of those sponsorships that are not. Like big brand name advertisements or sponsorships he had like one of those like cheap chinese knockoff sponsorships right like fucking instead of being called g fuel it's called gaming cum fuel or secret labs called secret dungeon sex right or whatever the fuck and then it was taking up fuck i'm trying to do it um yeah it's taking up this much of the screen and then my face is like the gameplay right my face is the fucking gameplay Th that's what the stream was. I was the face. My face is the gameplay, and then my hands were the fucking the advertisements, right? And it, they, it, like you can clearly tell they weren't paying them shit, right? Because you know when you see those cheap knockoffs, you like you. It's very fucking clear that they don't pay you shit. It's just you or the streamer getting like the fucking feeling is like wow. I have a sponsorship. That that must mean I'm a fucking like wow. I'm, I, I must be fucking doing something huge right because i have a sponsorship or they looked out for a sponsorship right they don't really get paid from it, it all all it is is that these fucking streamers right because i myself have been like i'm like i want to get a fucking sponsorship right but like once you go to the fucking details it's always like we want to give you a code and then like we send you a fucking shirt that's basically how the fucking sponsorship is and it's like a fucking year-long contract or whatever the fuck they didn't look into much fucking details but it's just you get the gist of it Man, how obnoxious do you have to fucking get? Like, I mean, I understand you're trying to fucking, you know, seem professional. You're trying to seem like you're fucking, like, you already have your position in the fucking gaming space and right. But once you put your fucking advertisement saying, use code sex dungeon, like fucking 24-7, just like a fucking infomercial, just fucking going across the fucking screen, huge as fuck, taking 99% of the fucking screen, it becomes really annoying. That's, ba that's basically all I have to fucking say. Obnoxious sponsorships are really annoying. I have no problem with sponsorships itself. It's just the way you go. And what type. The, the way you go about it and the way you. And what sponsorship it is. Is a problem I have. So to basically sum up what I'm trying to say. Sorry for the Spanish music in the background. My neighbors are kind of being obnoxious right now. Um, is that. These small advertisement Or these small companies. That are very clearly ripoffs of like very successful companies, right? Like fucking G Fuel, Secret Labs, HyperX, or whatever the fuck it's called. It's just cheap knockoff, right? So they give very weak, sometimes not like not even actually legally binding contracts to a small time streamer, right? Who knows is very desperate to get sponsorship because I don't know why, but. Some people see as like getting a sponsorship makes you like very official in the gaming space or whatever the fuck. But they throw out these fucking very shitty sponsorship deals 
And then it's not really a deal at all. It's just we'll give you a fucking shirt and you got to promote us for a certain amount of time. Sometimes I don't know how fucking long. It's just a shitty fucking sponsorship. It's like very unofficial. And then they just give them a shirt and then they just have this very obnoxious code with a very like Ill- Ill- illegitimate looking, you know, promotion. So, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say in this fucking video. Sometimes part of the video comes out very unclear. So, yeah. I hope you guys have a wonderful fucking day and take care.